once again, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to the channel. This is your boy T. McNeil, and this is indeed the DC Show. So if this is your first time here, make sure that you guys like, comment, and subscribe. As it says right there on your screen, I would definitely appreciate that. To all of my non-subscribers out there, if you guys are looking for the latest information in sneaker news, reviews, updates, and the newly acquired sneaker bargains, we're talking about copper sneakers for $100 or less, this is the place to be. And obviously to all of my subscribers out there, I thank you guys very much for supporting me, rocking with me all this time, all your comments, all your feedback, etc., etc. It is definitely appreciated, and uh, we're going to keep this thing moving, all right? So, what's going on with y'all once again today? What I want to do is talk about yet another uh, set of sneakers that I have in my collection. Um, this is what I'm calling the blacked out version, mostly. Okay. Now, before I even get started on this blacked out version, mostly, I do have four legitimate pair right here. Um, if you guys have been following the channel, for the ones that are subscribed to the channel, you guys have seen this before, you know exactly what I do have for all of my non-subscribers out there. This is pretty much just a taste of what I have in my sneaker collection. We're talking about at least 40 something plus pair of sneakers right now and growing. So I'm definitely excited to share with you guys uh, this particular um, version of shoes that I have. Okay, now I did two other videos about these guys. I did a black and red version and also did a black and white version. So if you guys haven't seen that, make sure that you go back down the timeline and uh, check those videos out. But now we're gonna do a blacked out version, mostly, all right? Also, man, uh, let me get y'all opinion on something. What do you guys think as far as the Last Dance documentary? Um, let me know down below in the comment section if you guys actually watched it. Did you watch all 10 parts? Did you watch some of it? Or was it a case where you didn't catch none of it at all? Okay, the only reason why I'm asking that is because I wanna know what you guys think about the documentary. What do you guys think about Jordan, period? Um, do you still think he's the GOAT? Okay, do you think he's the greatest of all time? Um, what do you guys think, okay? The reason why I'm asking that is because I don't know if you guys have been following the, I'm not gonna say the local news, but if you guys have been like on Facebook or Google or any of those type of platforms, um, my man been getting a lot of heat, okay, for this documentary, okay? A lot of different players that have either played against him or had played with this guy. They're saying a lot of negative things about Jordan. They're saying that he was a bully, etc. So, what do you guys think about that? Do you think that this 10 part docuseries either tarnishes his legacy or do you think it continues to further prove and explain why he is the greatest of all time? Okay, so I want to definitely pose that question to you. Does it change your overall opinion of Jordan? Because I'm going to tell you guys something real quick. Regardless of what you think about this guy, his name speaks volumes, okay? Especially in the sneaker market and in the basketball world. It doesn't matter what you think about him. When you when you hear the name Air Jordan, it's going to ring a bell, okay? They're, these shoes are always going to sell. Why do you think, you know, over the past 30 plus years, they've been selling so well and continue to sell well because of the name? Not only just because of the name, but they add and bring value to the sneaker market, okay? So... At the end of the day, like I said, regardless of how you feel about him, just know and best believe and trust that these shoes is going to continue to sell, all right? So I definitely want to put that out there for y'all, all right? So let's go over what we got, man. Now, uh, we're going to start from right to left or left to right from what you guys can see on your screen. And we're going to talk about the Air Jordan 13 Black Cats. All right, y'all. So the reason why I decided to actually purchase these shoes is not only the namesake of Black Cat, but I like the suede and I like the cloth that comes on this particular Edge Jordan 13. Now, most of the new 13s, I know for a fact that's coming out right now, a lot of them don't come with cloth anymore. A lot of them come with this leather. Um, I'm not saying the leather's bad or anything like that. Me personally, I can go either way, but if I had to choose which material would best suit me and my style, I would probably say I'll go with the suede, okay, and I know, well, obviously they all come with suede, but what I meant to say is the cloth, okay, I think the cloth looks better to me, it's definitely soft to the touch, um, aesthetically it looks better than the leather does anyway, but at the end of the day, the leather and the cloth does work, okay, so yeah, I got the blacked out edge on 13s, you know, the black cats, mostly blacked out as you guys can see, uh, the interior is also very blacked out, and if you guys can see that for yourself, you do have 
black cat badge right there in the inner portion of the shoe. So I'm definitely a big fan of that. Okay, I've always been a big fan of the 13s. If you guys have been following the channel for a while, you know that the 13s and the 12s, and now the ones, I can officially say, is definitely one of my favorite Air Jordans, period. Okay. But um, we all know that the Flint versions of these joints are getting ready to drop soon. The Flint definitely has that same uh, blue cloth material in those, you know, coming in that in that Flint gray, man. So I'm definitely excited about those shoes and I can't wait for them joints to come back. All right. So next up on the list, man, we got the Air Jordan 12. Hint, hint, my other favorite pair of shoe. We're talking about the black on black anthracite joints, all right, or as you guys know in the streets, winter rides, all right. Um, very nice shoe. You know, Air Jordan 12 is definitely a comfortable shoe. It's a stylish shoe. Um, one thing to keep in mind if you guys don't own a pair of the winter rides is the fact that the reason why they call them winter rides is simply because not only the anthracite on the outer portion, but you have that fleece on the inner portion of the shoe. As I stated many times before, this is not a sneaker that you will want to wear in the summertime, i.e. spring, etc. Because your feet is definitely going to sweat a lot, okay? It doesn't take away from the style or the comfort of the shoe. It's just something to keep in mind if you guys actually decide to get the shoe, okay? But what attracted me to this shoe, not only because of it having this blacked out colorway, and now the fact that because of Air Jordan 12 is my favorite, but what drew me to the shoe is anthracite material itself. Okay, now I talked about these shoes a while back, and you know, this anthracite is pretty much, I'm not gonna say waterproof, they're kind of weatherproof, if that makes sense. So I wouldn't recommend like stepping in a liter of water, you know what I'm saying, guys, up to your ankles. That probably wouldn't be the smartest move to make. But if you're walking around and like, maybe a half inch of snow or something like that, or if it's a light rainy day, these shoes would be perfect because they will definitely keep your feet not only warm, but they'll keep them dry. Because this anthracite material, um, it is weatherproof, so again, that the beads of water is going to pretty much ride off of this material, and it's going to, like I said, it's going to keep your feet extremely dry. But just keep in mind, that's why I said, because it's fleece, it's going to generate some heat. So, it's just something to kind of keep in mind. But other than that, very, very nice shoe, and um, I've had mine probably for about two years. And um, as you can see, they've definitely been holding up over time. We got a little bit of significant creases right there, but it's not enough to say, you know what, I can't wear them anymore, etc. And real quick story, the reason why I got the crease, because I bought the wrong size, all right? This is size 13, my ideal size should have been a 12. So, yeah, it is what it is, all right? So, let's go to my third pair of shoes, guys. We're talking about the uh, customized Nike Air Force Ones. All right, hint, hint, what I said, customized, okay? This shoe is not in stores, okay? With the colorway that you see, you may find something similar, but it's not something that, like I said, you're gonna find to a T inside of a shoe store, sneaker store, whatever you wanna call it, okay? Um, I got these simply because not only the price point was good, but because I had the option to customize a shoe. Okay, so as you guys can see, um, of course, it's for my non subscribers out there. Um, it's coming from the, the bottom of the shoe or the outsole of the shoe, you see that I decided to gray them out. Um, the side panels coming in mesh, I decided to gray out. Same thing on the inner portion of the shoe. And on top of that, if you guys look at the interior portion of the shoe, you do have a blacked out shoe, shoe liner as well. You got a Nike Air badge on there, just like all the Air Force Ones come. But you guys can see the outer portion of, or the inner portion of the cloth that comes on this particular shoe is also grayed out to match the gray that comes on the side panel and to match the gray that comes on the outsole of the shoe. Okay, so that was the color scheme and the colorway that I chose for myself, okay? Um, this is called Nike Lab, okay? You guys can go right on Nike.com. I think, if I'm not mistaken, Nike Lab is still active. Um, this was probably like a year ago when I actually customized these shoes, so it's been quite some time. You guys know that things in the market change, websites change, services change, etc. So I can't guarantee that that service is still there, but you guys are more than welcome to go and check it out for yourself. But I had to get the Air Force Ones to pretty much replace the current ones that I had before. But, um, 
you know, they're really nice, man. They're, they're, they're built solid, you know, and, uh, you know, you can't go wrong with that, all right? So if y'all got any comments, questions about them joints, like I said, let me know. And, uh, <coughs> excuse me, guys, the brother get back to you, all right? And then last but not least, um, officially that would have been the it for my shoe market or the shoe collection as far as um, the blacked out versions of the shoes, mostly. But I had to include this particular Air Jordan 1 is because I actually forgot to include these joints the last time. Um, I did the black and white versions of the, of the shoes that I have in my collection and uh, for some reason I didn't even think about these. I forgot that I actually had these guys. So we're gonna add them in today's video, okay? But now we're talking about the Air Jordan 1 Mid. We're talking about the, maybe I destroyed the game. Yeah, I had to actually look at the tag. You know, you gotta realize I got a lot of sneakers in my collection, bro, so some of these uh, nicknames, man, and these shoe names, sometimes they slip, man, so you can't remember all of them. But yeah, these are the maybe I destroyed the games. Uh, mostly blacked out, but except you do have white shoestrings, you got a white neoprene mesh tongue, and you do have a white outsole or bottom of the shoe, okay? So, the reason why I decided to get these, I actually made a video about these probably like a year ago. Um, the guys and gals that's been following me for a while, you guys may have seen that video. It was like a long time ago. But I got these simply because aesthetically, how they look. I mean, they really look good, okay? You got basically like a two-tone Nike badge right there as well. It's like you get two in one. And um, you got a Black Dove Jumpman logo. And on top of that, mostly you got all of this beautiful, buttery suede black leather. It came on these shoes, okay? <clears throat> so maybe I destroyed the game was actually like a quote from, from the 80s, early 90s, okay, that Jordan himself actually said. And um, if I'm not mistaken, I think they had a commercial back then too, you know, talking about that quote and him actually mentioning that, that phrase. So this from Nike and Jordan brand, they, you know what I'm saying, they actually included this particular shoe as a result of that particular commercial and that quote from MJ himself. Okay, so I thought that it was pretty unique to actually add this to the collection. And um, you got 1985 on there, okay? So technically, that's when that was actually said, okay, guys? Because it's right there on the tongue. And um, I like them, man. You know, it's a mid top shoe. It's giving you a lot of ankle support. You know, it's giving you everything that you need. It's nostalgic. And of course, guys, you got a red shoe line in there as well. I'm a huge fan of that. And that's the reason why I bought them. You got a white Jumpman logo right there as well. You got your Nike badge branding on there. And um, yeah, these joints is really, really nice. I think a lot of people actually slept on these shoes. Um, they kind of put me in the mindset of some other ones that I have. Um, I gotta go back and look at what it is, but I've got some other ones like this that's a similar, but I think these were great shoes or great pickup and um, yeah. Definitely can't go wrong with these joints, man. So I only actually wore these one time. So you guys can see no significant creasing yet. You know, the toe box area is still very clean and they still got that fresh new shoe smell. Y'all know how that smell. So, yes sir, all right. So that's pretty much it, man. That is my collection of the blacked out Air Jordans and Nikes that I do have. Once again, I gotta say, mostly, so if you guys have any comments and questions on these joints, let a brother know, and uh, I will definitely get back to you. And if you have not done so already, all this time, because I know a lot of y'all watch me on a regular basis, but y'all ain't tapped that subscribe button yet, man. Look, this is what you want to get on a daily basis. I upload, try to try to upload at least mostly every day, you know what I'm saying, y'all? So you're getting fresh content on a regular basis. Trust me, this is where you want to be, man, all right? If you ain't sure, ask my subscribers, all right? So, I appreciate you guys watching, listening, and tuning in. Do not forget to tap the bell symbol, guys, once again, so that you receive notifications. As soon as I put up new content for the channel, you guys been on it, and that way you won't miss nothing, all right? So thank you guys for tuning in and listening and watching. Until the next time, make sure that you have a good one. And as always, say, you stay safe. Bliss!